We need to speak about, of course, what happening with fucking Jonah Hill. Unfortunately, everybody in the internet is trying to cancel Jonah Hill for having um, standards. No standards. For having, what do you say, boundaries? Is it boundaries? How would you describe them? Um, maybe there are boundaries. Whatever it is, he tried to tell his then ex or his ex girlfriend now um, how she could basically move or what made him comfortable, not comfortable. And for some whatever reason, the fucking um, girlfriend, ex girlfriend, decided to air him out. Personally, I don't see why this is anyone's business. It shouldn't be really. This is clearly a relationship issue that they had. I don't see why the internet has to chime in and get involved i don't think she needs to bring it to social media but now that she has we're talking about it so it kind of is internet business in that regard but it does basically paint her in a bad light because i don't think the messages are doing what she thinks they're doing because i think in her eyes she sees it as a form of abuse manipulation harassment whereas in the eyes of a common sense person you just see it as somebody having particular boundaries that they would rather you know have in their relationship if they aren't met they'd rather kind of go separate ways but it's not really much a controlling thing as mostly something some people would rather like some people don't like but that's just my opinion anyway so this is obviously jonah hill there and his then ex-girlfriend this surfer girl who to be completely honest as well just to put it out there as kind of a to be completely brutally honest number one if you're gonna do the whole jonah hill's abusive thing Maybe Jonah Hill isn't hot enough to be abusive, unfortunately. He's lost a lot of weight. He obviously looks really good in clothes, but he's not physically attractive enough to allow women, to allow himself to say what he wants of women. Because having watched some clips of Love Island, I've seen some guys on those type of shows who are very manipulative, very abusive, mentally, whatever it may be, in the things that they say, but the girls let it lie, let it kind of go because they're good looking. They have six packs, great faces, good teeth and shit, nice tattoos. It's okay. But if you're an average looking dude, then you just certain things you can't do. And one thing is that you can't tell what a woman what to do. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Average looking men can't tell women what to do. Secondly, I also don't think she's hot enough to be demanding that she's allowed to do what she wants on social media. I don't personally think so. I don't think she's that much of a smoke show that she can do what she wants either. So I think they're both in the wrong in that respect. I think they both need to kind of understand their position in life, look themselves in the mirror and say, hey, we're both kind of fives in our own way. We probably shouldn't be acting the way we should be acting now. That's my only thing. But let's go for the flipping um, screenshots of what she fucking posted in terms of shaming, um, what's his face, Jonah Hill. So I guess it goes in this sort of order, right? Literally just say hello and leave the combo. I love how your therapist thinks I suck. Literally, I'm the best boyfriend on earth. <laughs> Which is fucking insane to say, to be completely honest, right? Calling yourself the number one boyfriend is legitimately cringe. It's like you getting yourself number one dad mug, right? It's like you buying yourself number one dad necklaces, number one mum. Like you have to be a complete narcissist to think that way. But anyway. Another one says, you're right. We can't do surf social things on, uh, no, we can't do social things or develop trust until you consider me and make decisions that give me regard to our relationship. I've been vulnerable as, peop as possible and I'm telling you, I'm needing you to step up to the plate, which you can, I'm sure. <laughs> Coaching your girlfriend on how to love you, that should be a red flag that you should leave. If you have to coach your partner into how they can love you, Maybe leave. Maybe. 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 Maybe leave. Because that's not love language shit. That's just you trying to let them know, hey, this is how I could feel appreciated. If they can't appreciate you off rip, or if they can't make you feel loved off rip, red flag in my opinion. But again, what do I know? It continues. Um, but these losers don't get your time if you don't want me. What? But these losers don't get your time if you want me straight up it's consideration i love also her passive aggressive heart reactions to the texas she doesn't write a lot well she's just she's just sharing what he said but there's a lot of like thumbs up hearts <laughs> and that's it <laughs> she doesn't actually say much which must be driving him mental um i respect your love for surfing but i respect myself as well 
and your love of surfing and being in those situations and lack of awareness are not mutually exclusive. Huh? That's weird because if I'm not mistaken, I think he met her as a surfer. So now you're telling her how she should surf and how she should conduct herself in that scene. Bit weird. But hey, we move. This isn't just me. I have my own issues that I own. Oh, this isn't me. I have my own issues that I own. Um, if you want marriage and family, you can't use a 25 card. St oh, okay. So she's probably been saying, hey, I'm only 25. I don't know how to act. I'm only 25. Somehow, every time I'm... Because I'm only 25, my tits always hanging out. My pussy's always on show. It's not my fault. I'm only 25. And he's saying, nah, 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 nah. You better hide that fucking bush. You better hide those nip nips. And you better keep it fucking very modest on the waves. I want to see you in a full hijab on those fucking waves. <laughs> That's basically what he's telling her. Allah um, Akbar. If you want marriage, um, you can't use a 25 card. Step up and cut the shit. These people don't get your time or your kindness at the sacrifice of minds. By people, he meant my any friend of mine that hadn't personally approved of. And then I think the ones that actually blew up on the internet were these, right? So Jonah Hill texts his surfer girlfriend the following, who he thinks is maybe too scantily dressed and is, you know, not appreciating his boundaries. He said, plain and simple. This is 2021, by the way. Plain and simple. If you need surfing with men, and again, these are all in bullet points. That's how you know he's angry. Plain and simple. If you need surfing with men, boundaryless, inappropriate in relationship friendships with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in bathing suits, to post sexual pictures, friendships with women who are in unstable places and from your wild recent past beyond getting lunch or coffee or something, I am not the right partner for you. If these things bring you to a place of happiness, I support it and there will be no hard feelings. There are my boundaries for a romantic partnership. My boundaries with you based on the way these actions have hurt um, our trust. Now, on the face of it, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying what he's saying. Of course, what he said, as, as Natashki is saying in the flipping chat, it is giving selfishness and it is giving insecurity. You can't help how this is kind of going to come across. It radiates insecurity. It radiates um you know lack of confidence it radiates if anything what this radiates fat boy energy really when you've grown up your whole life being fat and ugly and you suddenly lose weight and now you're bagging quote-unquote bad your mindset hasn't really changed you're not really a hot boy in your head why people like dj academics are always interested to see with his interaction with women how he talks about women because clearly he's always been a dork he's always been a loser Maybe he wasn't always as fat as he is, but he's always been a loser. Never been somebody that kind of got girls before money. But obviously, now that DJ Economics is really successful and got money, he's obviously going to attract women in his life. It just is what it is. More opportunities, more women. And his impression of dating and relationships is kind of skewed because he's had no training or basis of trying to successfully or unsuccessfully attract women when he was like poor and ugly and whatever it may be and when you suddenly get them you carry on some of those bits of like bitterness and shit you kind of carry it with you when you become rich or you lose a lot of weight and then you become famous and shit it just happens so this is what's happening with jonah but that aside i don't feel like there's anything wrong with what he's saying because what he's saying sounds like the same thing some people say to their friends and i've had some people kind of say it to me in like a roundabout way not really up front because if they said it up front i'd have to sell, tell them something's back which obviously i wouldn't want to do because i'm not really the argumentative type but i've had some people over the years try and like lifestyle shame me in a way i've kind of grown up i've got a family now i've got kids i'm married i'm doing this as a career so now all the things that we used to do when we were younger i don't do them anymore and the fact that you still do some of those things to a certain extent I now look down upon you and you're like not worthy of my time or you're like a bad influence. Of, I have some people do that to me, right? And I think it's happened a lot to people anyway in general um, because it's kind of like this weird like therapy speak people do with their friends where they want to break up with their friends but they can't just like do what we all do and just ignore people or block them. They have to give them this fucking long soliloquy about how they are bad for their lives and make that person feel bad about themselves yeah it's bad it's, it's it's for sure bad enough when someone breaks up with his friend anyway it's gonna always hurt but usually the the usual method is that over time you just stop talking right you maybe lose touch so that just happens over time 
and then you're not as close as you once were. But these people go a step further and they want to detail you exactly why they're not your friend anymore and really try and break it down in a way of saying, hey, you're not constructive to a good partnership or friendship. You're a bad influence. All these type of things to make you feel bad about yourself and make them feel better. And it's kind of like a weird therapy, so to speak, to kind of justify their lifestyle choices, which I'm not really the biggest fan of. Whereas I feel like in this regard, in relationships, there should be some type of boundary. There should be some level of like understanding of like what annoys a partner, what doesn't, what they expect from what they don't. Like some people get pissed off with their partner liking pictures, with them following people that they don't know, with them DMing or being in contact with past hookups or relationship people. They don't like it. It just is what it is. And I think you as a partner, you should be understandable or understanding of your partner's boundaries. And if you don't like it, cool, leave. But I don't think it gives you the right to kind of air them out and try and frame it in a way of them being abusive. Is he being corny? Is he being lame? Is he acting like a loser? Is it giving small dick energy? All this will go, okay, cool, whatever. But don't try and make it out to be a his abuser that he's somehow like, you know, he's kind of up there with Harvey Weinstein or some shit. Like you're going too far in that regard because there's no other real need to kind of show these images because if anything, what this is showing is that that lady also was maybe struggling in the fact of, you know, you're young, you're hot, but now you're going out with this really famous dude. And I'd imagine if you go out with somebody really famous, regardless if they're hot or not, they kind of want you to be all theirs. I'd imagine. I don't know. I'm just my, my, my head just thinking. I have no idea what happens to famous people. I don't talk to them. I have no famous friends. I'm just fucking guessing. But I'll assume, especially if you're going out with a famous dude, most likely, they in their head, regardless of who's hot or not in a relationship, they always feel like they're the alpha. So, you know, they want, they want to take up all of you. So if that means taking up all of you, that means they want to be in charge of all of you also. And sometimes, if you like the fame and the clout and the limelight, you surrender yourself to it and you give yourself to it. Some people don't, but I feel like this girl kind of was struggling with it. Maybe she has her own fan base in the surfing world. You're still 25. Um, this guy's much older. So you're not really that comfortable of kind of giving yourself completely to him. You want to live your own life, but you also want to have that clout of being his, his, his girlfriend. So you're kind of, you know, caught in the middle a little bit. But personally, I don't think there's anything super wrong with what he said. I just think it comes across a little bit like your your feelings are way too hurt over things that you probably shouldn't be hurt about. Um, next screenshot here says, take accountability and operate with respect. It's that simple because I'm tired of your attitude towards surf culture, that contest, that place because I deserve respect. Surf culture? Bruh, didn't this guy just start surfing two years ago? Relax, period. I have been more than patient then shit like this is um, still here. Fuck that contest. Fuck that place. And fuck not respecting me. Always in every situation within surf culture. You don't get it. And you don't get me. It's hurtful and unacceptable to me. Get it? I don't know if you get it. Or care. Or give a shit about um, that shit um, any more than me. Even after Dr. Stern has said it loud. <laughs> Dr. Stern. <laughs> Getting your fucking therapist involved is fucking horrendous. But anyway. Um, obviously it's giving, you know, it's giving insecurity. You can't help that. It kind of is what it is. He's going through maybe the same issues that that um, Kiki Palmer, um, you know, baby daddy issue he was kind of going through. And it also does show the difficulty, the real difficulty in dating when you're famous, really, in general. And why maybe is this important if you're a dude, especially if you're a guy, really, and you're going out with a woman that you probably wouldn't have access to if you weren't famous and you're average looking. You kind of just have to go with the flow. Really interesting. Especially if you decide to go with somebody super young. They're going to do what they're going to do. Their social media platform is their brand. It's their platform to express themselves. Trying to somewhat control what they do on there sounds a little bit insane, in my opinion. Especially when you look at her profile itself. She hasn't... She's not the most you know, scantily clad girl on there. There's way more girls on social who surf, who are way more suggestive and sexual in their appearance. She isn't like that at all. And if you had a problem with that, it's more so an issue that he has to do as opposed to her. But fundamentally, I feel like she shouldn't have shared those text messages. I feel like it's completely over the line. It's really inappropriate. We don't need to know about this. It's none of our business, really and truly, what they do in their relationship, what boundaries he has, what they don't have. Um, don't want to know. And fundamentally, the last point, he's not hot enough to tell her what to do. And she's not hot enough 
to be complaining about it. Simple as that, really. Sad to say, but I think in this world, um, having watched clips of Love Island, that's what's been proven to me. If you're ridiculously good looking, you can get away with quote unquote manipulating or kind of trying to control people in a certain regard. Of course, because once one person tries to fucking try you and cancel you, somebody else comes out of the fucking bush works now. Um, obviously, another person has now come out and accused um, Jonah Hill of forcing themselves on him, on her, sorry, when she was 16. This person from Zoe 101, I don't know, I don't know what that is because I'm not white. It's a person called Alexa Nicholas says um, Jonah Hill forced themselves on her when she was 16 and he was 24. So let's go to the next slide. When it rains, it pours. It says, after reading Sarah Bradley's admirable post, admirable, fuck off. Women are the worst, right? Um, admirable, you know. She shares some text messages of her friend being a, a boyfriend at the time being a dick via text messages. Relax, bruv. She didn't fucking design the hydrogen bomb. Like, you guys need to chill. Um, about Jonah here, I just got to say, when I was 16, I got invited to a house party at Justin Long's house where he was living with some lame predator actor from CSI Miami. Why don't you name him then? You're naming fucking Jonah Hill touching you up, but you don't want to name the fucking guy in CSI Miami. Clout chaser. Um, I'll look up the name later and find it. Oh, okay, cool. Um, hashtag Jonah Hill seemed to have his eyes on me because at one point I wanted a cigarette and he said he had one in his car right outside. Yo, this is a classic creep move. You want to come back to my house to play some tunes? You want to fucking go outside to go get a cigarette? <laughs> Creeps love to isolate. If anybody tries to isolate you, hey, you want to go over here in that corner? You want to go over there in that bush? They're, they're definitely a creep. If they do stuff in the open and they're all over you, they may be Mediterranean or straight from, you know, straight from Africa, fresh off the boat. But if they're trying to take you places, you better run. If they're trying to take you, like transport you, human trafficking style, right? You better run. Um... Don't he? Uh, he didn't seem like too much of an effort, so I trusted him. I went outside and he grabbed the cigs from his front seat. Hashtag Jonah Hill didn't hand me the cigarette, which I thought was weird. And then, as we walked back to the door, I asked him for it and he said nothing but slammed the door and shoved his tongue down my throat. <laughs> Sorry to laugh, but that is an aggressive move, right? You aggressive move, maybe a little like bum touch. A little like shoulder touch, maybe a little face touch, maybe coming into their you know proximity to maybe lean in to kiss or something, but going straight in, ah, 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 that is fucking aggressive. That is predatory. Lock you up, throw away the keys, bury you under the jail, put a fucking you know uh, a safe over it, cover that with concrete. Like, oh my God, going straight in tongue. Ah, that is fucking wild. Anyway, um, I was so appalled, I pushed him off and ran outside. And ran inside, sorry. Cool. So, uh, <laughs> yo, Jonah Hill, man. One girl airs you out because you fucking have, don't want her being scantily clad when she's doing a little, you know, surfing content online and then out of nowhere some girl from a show called zoe 101 says hey remember when i was 16 and you tried to fucking tongue me down when it rains it pours isn't it when it rains it pours i'm not sure what they want from jonah he seems very fragile in his terms of like mental and mental state uh he kind of quit doing interviews and shit so i wonder if if news came out that jonah hill unalived himself will these people be happy is that what they kind of want because like None of this stuff is, like, going to be getting him in prison anytime soon. We know for the most part, unless you, like, have video footage of you raping somebody, he's getting, again, uh, convicted of those sort of stuff is really difficult. You might get publicly shamed, but it's not really going to do nothing to you in terms of, you know, the court of law. Maybe, maybe the court of public opinion. People might think of you as a creep. But I wonder what the end goal is for this. Like, what do they want here? Like, what, what, what are they trying to expose here? Who was walking around thinking Jonah Hill was like the best boyfriend ever? I don't know. No one really. I don't. I don't think no one did. So I don't know what this may what does. Like if he does unalive himself, like what happens? What happens? Do they take personal responsibility? Do they feel guilty about it because it wasn't that big of a deal? I don't know. Either way, 
white people business not my problem hopefully he sorts it out and if he doesn't it kind of is what it is isn't it it kind of is what it is